In this episode of Rob Christie Hike Across America, we continue with our mission to try to find something we're seeing in every state. This week, we go to the Grand Canyon South Rim, check out a couple overlooks, and do a little bit of a trail. First, we stop at the Little Colorado River Gorge, which is conveniently located right off of Highway 64, just before going into the Grand Canyon on the east entrance. We're at our first stop here before going into the Grand Canyon. This is a Little Colorado Overlook. It is super windy here. If you decide to visit the Grand Canyon from the east entrance, which I highly recommend, you will come to two overlooks on your way. One of them is at the Navajo Travel Park. It's $8 to get in, but they do have a restroom. But if you want to save a couple bucks, just go down the road a couple miles to this stop. It's free, it doesn't have a restroom, and you will have to hike a little bit more just to get to the canyon. But in my opinion, the view is just as good. close to the edge because it kind of pushes you back because the wind coming up out of the canyon is so strong. in the Grand Canyon, it is pretty darn small. Now, the first time I visited Little Colorado River Gorge, I actually thought it was the Grand Canyon. I was completely blown away. Little did I know, the Grand Canyon was about 10 miles away and I hadn't seen nothing yet. at least put some steps in down there. You have to scramble down those rocks to get to this railing. Finally made it to the Grand Canyon. Now the Grand Canyon is a national park, so your American the Beautiful Pass will work here. Otherwise, it is $35 per car. So we got we're at our first stop here at the Grand Canyon National Park. It's first viewpoint. Now, unfortunately, when we went, the watchtower was closed due to COVID, but there is a gift shop down below, and that remained open. Now most places here at the Grand Canyon South Rim are wheelchair accessible, but there are a few places you won't be able to get to. We're at our second overview stop here at the Grand Canyons. Now this was my third time to the Grand Canyon South Rim, and I have to admit, it hasn't changed much in the last couple of years. So my enthusiasm level wasn't as high as it was the first time I saw it.
here at our fourth or fifth stop. I started losing count here. So many stops. See, this one's called the Ram Point, James. This what, man? What's this one called? Now, Grand View did seem to be the most popular of all the pullovers. It did have a trail there, and from what somebody said, it goes all the way to the bottom of the canyon. We didn't have time to do that, so we did do a little bit of the hike, just for fun. Walking this little trail on the rim of the Grand Canyon going down to this overlook. Just at another cool pull over viewpoint. This one's just literally right on the side of the road. But it's got a pretty good shot. Not as big as the other ones. Now at this point, all the pullovers started to look a lot alike. So we just headed on down into the Grand Canyon Station and tried to do the Bright Angel Trail. But the parking lot was completely packed. So we decided to call up day and head on into our next destination. In the next episode of Rob Crusty Hike Across America, we check out some petrified dinosaur tracks just before going into Utah and visiting the Pink Coral Sand Dune State Park. So if you found yourself liking this video and want to see more, please like, share, subscribe. There's plenty on the channel, more on the way. Until next time, keep on hiking.